Yo, what up, guys? Today we're replacing a lug stud. We got a bad one on there. Threads are bad. We're gonna start off. We gotta get that rotor off. We're gonna start off with taking the caliper off. This one has a little spring clip in it. Pop that dude off. This one's got a seven millimeter Allen in the back. Little black caps you take off first. Basically, you just wanna get your caliper off, whatever style you're doing. If it's drum brakes, just get the drum off. Break it off. Well, you need that rotor off. It's not just going to come off. Ooh, these brakes are destroyed. Take a hammer. Smack that. Mm -hmm. We gotta find a position that this guy is willing to come out in. There we go. Got her out. Now you can buy something called a lug stud starter in the parts store for like eight bucks or something. Looks like this. It's got a little bearing on the back and a groove.
Make sure your studs look the same. This looks the same except for it doesn't have a little spot at the end with no threads. Besides that, it looks the same. I'm going to put a little bit of grease where it presses in. Try to help it press in through there. Not having that extra blank space at the end makes it a lot easier to put in there. And we're going to want to put some grease on these threads going to help when we're pressing it in. Help with the heat and everything. And I put a little bit on my lug stud starter just for fun. Put that lug stud. You could do this with like a oversized nut in a washer. But it's not real safe. You can end up stripping the threads on the stud or the uh, lug nut. I did it a bunch of times back in the day and had a high success rate. There we go. Now as you tighten this lug nut down, sometimes you got to give it a little tap from the back to get it started so it doesn't spin. You can do this with an impact, but it's not recommended. It's easier with two people. I'm gonna grab a bar. There are you. That bar is gonna keep that axle from spinning. This one's going in pretty easily. Still quite a bit of force. Get on there. I want to be able to see how far in I am. Ah, there we go. Now you should be able to put your fingernail in the back of it where the lip is and not get your fingernail in there. That's how you know you got it all the way seated up against the hub. All right, now we're just gonna take our lug starter off. Bam, that's how you replace a lug stud, lug nut stud. Drop a like.